feel like we should back out. I'm not. I'm not ready for it to get into Wong's pit. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, Sonic, why? What's this thing you sent, Jeb? It's the f funniest thing you're ever gonna see in your life. Sonic's just on the main theme. As soon as I said about the Queen Elizabeth joke. Oh, Jeb, you're the only one who cares about the Sonic, so nobody cares. I'm afraid. And I won't be able to listen to her until after this recording. Uh, yeah, okay. you, you, She Hulk is impeding you from listening oh. to the Sonic, to the new Sonic main theme, Jeb. That's that's how much you, you should hate She Hulk, but you don't. You just like this show so much. Hello, everyone. Hey, you are just. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I always say. Oh my Chris Christ, Queen. Jeb! Shut the fuck up! I swear. <laughs> to God. We're recording this on uh, September eighth. Uh, the Queen was announced dead a few hours ago. Thanks, Jeb. I'm. Thank you, Jeb. I'm going to kick you. I am mourning my grandma. You. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> the point. Uh, same age. <laughs> <laughs> she gave birth to him when he was three. But no, she was three. Anyway, in the hack. Um, anyway, my point. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. You were just watching uh, the Ecom anniversary. Uh, at, hi. We're, we're obviously recording this in advance. Yeah, you just watched us watch episode three of She-Hulk uh, like six hours ago. And then now, um, as the as episode four released and Jeb watched it and told uh told us about it we kind of have to watch it too because seemingly uh there's quite a few things relating to wong in this episode and unfortunately madvocate is obsessed with wong so we're gonna have to jump into it and jump into the wong pit again and uh experience mm. this character once again What's into wong's pit we go i want to make it clear for the record though mm. i I don't want to fucking watch this show, but um, <laughs> just was notified about the uh the strategic genius that Wong is, and I need to follow up on the Shang Chi video. Yeah, we need uh so, need all the context to understand just how brilliant the character writing for Wong is since Doctor Strange. I yes. I just want to say this: I have seen the episode. It's my least favorite bit of MCU content. Even more than Love and Thunder and Multiverse of Madness. Love of Thunder is easily, like, Eclipse and She-Hulk. Multiverse of Madness at least has some good shots of good acting. This it, has it, just nothing. It just has nothing. Actually nothing. Alright, with it, that being said, I'm gonna get a water. I'll be right back. Fuck you this, for making oh, us late. You bastard. This is painfully unfunny. This I actually got painful. I want to... I actually want to just say no about ten minutes in. <laughs> well, the, the A plot is relating to Wong, right? Because last episode was... Well, I guess he was yeah, the A plot, the, but he, yeah, but he was just plot. part of the Emil Blonsky plot. The synopsis for this episode is there is a mad, there's a person using the mystic arts, and Wong doesn't like it, so he seeks to sue them. That oh. is the Yo, synopsis. are you spoiling the episode? No, that's no, the synopsis. Back, by the way. It's a synopsis. Don't oh. Do you want to know what it is, Mafika? No, I'm good. We can uh, start. Okay. Previously on She-Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. And you fool us. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, that that's they also showed that in the previous on for the last episode, but like Yeah. It, it wasn't know, relevant this, at all to the plot. That's so I think that's so funny because um it just reminded me how many here have seen like the US office I know cringe. Uh I, I've seen the uh, season and a half so far. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Jeb has seen all I don't of know. it. I've seen all of the office, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or uh, Michael Scott goes to his like to his like acting lessons. What is it? Um, it's not acting. Well, it is acting, but it's the he starts doing like the improv. Gun, gun thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that episode. Yeah. And he like talks to the camera, and he's like, "What do you do when like a scene is too boring or you don't know what to do? Just <laughs> throw in like random fucking action, like uh, yep. someone pulls out a gun." <laughs> Think about this. What is the most exciting thing that can happen on TV or in movies or in real life? Somebody has a gun. The yeah. the courtroom scene in that in that preview <laughs> well, that was... reminded me because it's like they don't know how, they admitted they don't know how to write a yeah. enthralling courtroom scene. You... So fuck it, just have someone blast through the wall. Well, I was <laughs> like gonna say it cool actually reminds me of um, well Aquaman for one, but also uh, Chibno who where every time there's like a small Aquaman. amount of um like character stuff, it's just like boom explosion plot time, and then we forget <laughs> that there's. <laughs> character stuff that should be going on oh jeb it's the city jeb jeb say it yeah the city it's the Yo! city no <laughs> the city again <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs>
Whoa, you said that last week, Jeb. Yes. It's definitely not an hour ago. Oh, the city. But yeah, you will understand how bad they are right court scenes in this episode. Episode 3 looks dare to have a quality in court scenes. The ancient art of levitation. After all the shit that people can do in this universe, I don't know why anyone would care about a show like this. For my next illusion, the great Donny Blaze needs assistance from a volunteer. <laughs> Like, when you have literal sorcerers, like, who are, like, well-known, I'm pretty sure magicians are just sort of... Donnie well, Perfluous now. What I was gonna say, it's in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1 that they have Scorch, you know? Because that's yeah. the entire point of that scene, is that nobody cares, because, oh, it's magic, and then he uses his actual powers. And then people are impressed. As the great Billy Shakes once said, A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Pay Billy Shakes. Did he just call William Shakespeare Billy Shakes? Oh, he, did he just do that? I, yeah. Yes. That's, that's Why? funny. Johnny Blaze! Oh, he's called Johnny Blaze. Oh, that, oh. It's Donny Blaze. Yeah. Donny, Donny Blaze. Oh, that is such a fucking omen. Fuck off. <laughs> it's a little more heat. It's God, a fucking so sling great. ring. You it's never so find out how we like got it. Looks like a one. Wong is probably it? fucking dropped it. Oh, it is an actual sling ring. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. is. Okay. And you don't need a uh, training anymore. Well, yeah, that's been established no way home in the way of home. Yeah, so I wouldn't blame this episode, unfortunately. <laughs> Donny Blaze. Okay, my guy. Let me is, uh, let me guess. Wong gave it to him in exchange for money. Ew. You mean you? I'm telling you. Is she afraid you of sparks? You like, don't get it. It's not afraid. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, I hate orange looking things. See, what are you. This is wrong. What? Why? This is wrong. Why are we doing this? Is he a pimp now? This is his best scene. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is she holding a heart? What? Uh, what the fuck? Where am I? What happened to all the goblins? Who are you? Are you the goblin king? What's happening? That's racist. Oh, he's watching The Sopranos. Did a cutweight magician send you here? Not exactly. He sent me to a diff dimension. And a talking goat helped me escape a lava pit in exchange for six drops of my blood. So this means Wong knew about this guy already and has done yes, nothing. Yes, he did. I'm going to send you home. What's your address? I don't even remember. If she lives with someone, he can just say their name and it'll take him there. That's actually a good point. <laughs> Are you ready to see what gets him into action? This is the one where they kill Adriana. You just ruined that darling place. He's going to pay for this. Oh, it's because that? she spoiled the Sopranos for yes. him. Yes. That's when he's had enough. Oh, I remember when Wong was like super serious, didn't laugh, didn't laugh that much, and was like, you know, this really actual intimidating guy. You look happy. I guess you saw that Wong is back. God, everybody loves Wong. No, I don't was love Wong. I hate Wong. I, no. I hate Wong. I Fuck you. I used to love Wong. Yeah. Her fourth wall breaks annoy me. I don't need you to do any of this. My daughter gets attacked by four men and I'm supposed to do nothing? Oh, that's Papa Hulk. Papa yeah. Hulk. <laughs> well, it's more that's like Bruce's It's uncle. more like Uncle Hulk. <laughs> yeah. I was a prosecutor long enough to know that they're not going to catch these guys. Well, what if they come back? I mean, they should be dead anyway. Yeah. If he wanted to be air and he landed on and he landed on his back, he should have he should be a splat. Whoa, that totally doesn't look like the Tinder logo. And that was, uh, that's just funny because they literally advertise for sure on Tinder. So like sure yeah, they can why, get like yeah, for, oh, they, sure yeah, they can get right. likes to it. Yeah, why aren't they using Tinder? It would have been good advertising. I guess they, they, have, they have a fake YouTube. Like, I imagine it's Tinder. because she's gonna meet like some bad guy through match oh and right? tinder is like well, you'll never meet any bad people yeah hey, it can't be like bad advertising for tinder yeah one way uh, hey, collaboration okay. this walters have a legal situation of the greatest importance pay attention to what walk is doing no jeb you need to i'm having an issue with a magician well go po portal to him no yeah. he's not gonna do that he's gonna do something better this charlatan goes by the name of Donny Blaze. Just get the ring You have his name. Back. Just say find Donny Blaze. And get the ring back, yeah. Former student of the Mystic Arts. But he was kicked out after a week when he summoned three kegs and his former fraternity brother, Kai Dog, to Kamataj. Wait, he was kicked out and he was just... They just let him have the ring? What? 
If they kicked him out, they would have taken everything from him. Of course they would. He's not performing cheap human tricks here in Los Angeles at the Mystic Castle. He, is, he even knows where he is. Well, so I guess at least he had training to know how to open the portal, which is more than Ned did. <laughs> Yeah. Practicing the mystic arts without proper training not only endangers people, it risks untethering the material and astral planes. Then it would have been good for you to take the fucking Bro, ring you just, from him. You said fuck it to Doctor Strange using the memory <laughs> racing spell. Oh my Christ. Just leave me out of this. Now, now he's pissed? No, no, he's going to do something very clever. Set a precedent that no unlicensed persons ever attempt to practice the mystic arts again. He's going to sue the guy. <laughs> I'm not joking. No. Find Donnie Blaze. Find Donnie Blaze. Find Donnie Blaze. Find Donnie Blaze. Then force pull the ring out of his hand. Doctor Strange did that to Ned. How can he even sue someone like that when he, he's on the run? He committed a crime that he, he ran away in the last episode. You've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. Exactly. His idea, while oh, yeah. run, is to go, <laughs> wait, wait. his idea is to go to a lawyer rather than his sorcerers and sue him. While the same. Dude, why, why does he just say go, find? He even knows where Donnie Blaze performs at. He doesn't even ch ch need to do the find Donny Blaze thing. And then he goes, the takes away his ring. Pissed at him. This, this is, is so the premise dumb. of the entire story. Done. That's okay. a long cease and desist. What the cease fuck are we desist? watching? You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> Did you just woo woo a parole brief? Mm -hmm. I hated it as soon as it okay. came out of my mouth. <laughs> Good, I hated it too. <laughs> I hate to see two stunning women sitting all alone. Okay, well, there's two of us, so by definition, not alone. What the fuck is this dialogue? Uh, I Men, they the, like to yeah, hit on women. Men fucking suck. Men yeah. are evil. So consider this an official warning to cease all practices of the mystic arts. Yep. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> what? Absurd. You can't own magic. Yeah, you can't own magic. Why did they just take the sling ring off him? <laughs> also, his his like boss is literally Morgan Freeman. You can't trademark a spirit, register a soul, copyright art. Yeah, you can copyright art, yes. You can copyright art. Yeah, what if you're talking about? <laughs> What's the matter, Wong? Are you scared I'll become more mystical than you? I mean, based on the MCU's track record, yeah. People <laughs> with no training just know how to do shit. <laughs> Good play. Alright, we will see you gentlemen in court. What? Take his fucking sling ring. Is that the only device he has? Swipe right for a hot date. Did he set phone to his... Set phone to his fire. Set fire to his phone? <laughs> <laughs> or there's just a lighter behind the phone. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, in what field? TBD. Are you kidding? Did he really just... Okay. <laughs> I just... Uh, I hate how okay. overt it all is. It's so serves them and overt. It's no effort. I finished watching Sandman last night. I can't... The, the, sh the whiplash I'm getting from that show to this is just like... Mind blowing. This has been so great. Yeah, it really has. Wait, what? Is he... Dipping? Oh no, that's the bill. Yeah. I thought they were just gonna order. Yeah, I thought they hadn't ordered yet, but I don't fucking know. We're 12 minutes into this episode. And isn't that like halfway through or something by She-Hulk standards? Just under. Yeah. And nothing's really happened. It's a comedy show. What? Why does something have to happen? It just has to be funny, which it has been. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't wanted to slice my wrist. Citing unfair competition and gross negligence. This is the worst, worst courtroom scene I've ever seen in my life. I am hard pressed to believe that a magic trick could constitute gross negligence. I just want to make that clear to you. Do you have any witnesses who can corroborate your claim? You want to make what clear? I was paying attention to the dialogue. Um, this is the worst courtroom scene I've ever seen in my life. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna show you my high school dance routine right now. Wongers. She's drunk, by the way. Wongers. She's. Okay. Why didn't they? She. Did she just call him Wong Wongers? Yes. I just want to ask you a few questions. So if you come this way. That's not she's how. She's drunk. That's not how porn. You still have to arrange all this in advance. Yeah, that's not how this works. You need to have your <sighs> witness in your witness list. You can't just and drop them in the middle of it. And they can't be drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, that also doesn't help, yeah. You know, when you're writing a lawyer show, it's very... I'm pretty certain you should at least get the basics of how, like, actual court laws work. Not unless it's a comedy. 
everything like, goes. Like, I, I, I understand they can't <laughs> write a good courtroom scene, they could at least do a bit of fucking research. How did you escape? I made a pact with a demon that I cannot discuss. Otherwise, he said he would reap my soul and the souls of all I love. Mephisto. There we go. Oh, no. oh, Easter egg. That's very good. I want to give you a heads up. This doesn't get the guy on Gross Negligence admitting that what? she made a pact with a demon. You joking, right? I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm so blown away that Wong was even was pissed at this to begin with. Yeah. At first, it was fun. Then scary, then fun again, then spooky, but in a fun way. Your Honor, I move to dismiss. What? This gets worse. That guard said, I want to squeeze your wongers. <laughs> <laughs> Precedent that you are referring to is for card tricks. Very different because the mystic arts is real magic. Is this not real magic? Is this not, what is? They wouldn't be allowed to do this in court. No, none of this would be allowed. <laughs> I know. You understand why I said it's the worst court scene I've ever seen. Changed color. Oh, oh. oh. Real magic. Oh my god, even the lawyer's a magician. <laughs> can, you, can we stop? That is enough! Yes, thank you. Please, just... This is embarrassing. How long has Donny Blaze been doing his magic? Uh, over a week. That's it? That's over a week? So he was kicked out, like, a month ago? I don't know how long. But he was out there for a week. He was at Kamataj for a week, and then he did this. This case travels beyond these courtroom walls. The men you see are seeking to wield the power of guards. <laughs> and he's just going, you know what, I'll use the US legal system. <laughs> One man in the mortal realm has the ability to cause a ripple so great reverberates through every dimension. Has the ability to destroy all life. Why not do something about this one, rather than sue? Yeah. Take his use just the take, fucking force. Just take his fucking force. Ring. Pull the sling ring. Yeah. Where's 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 Doctor Strange in all this as well? Uh, he doesn't exist because he's too expensive. So I was gonna say I assume they can't afford Benedict Cumberbatch. They can only they can only afford the other Benedict. Magic. Stop throwing smoke bombs. How, how did he get these through security anyway? Wait, she thinks he has smoke bombs, but the security guard won't pat him down for. Weapons? It's fucking what? stupid. She wouldn't be allowed to have any of that. She just said, how do you get through the through the security gate? They should be drawing their guns out right now. Oh. I also have a bird. Oh, that's so funny, though. <laughs> right. That's so bunny. Good. No, my Christ, magic. <laughs> <laughs> If we send Donny to the merit dimension, he probably won't even die. I would love that, but that will ruin our case. Wongers, can we get Froyo? No. Why are you Stop calling him Wongers! Case? Wong, you don't need to win this case to stop this guy. We can talk about the Sopranos! Fine, no more spoilers. This is Wong Comedy. in the MCU now. Someone got mad at a private quote tweeted me. I don't know who it was, but I can only assume they got mad. For what tweet? For me saying, I just want Wong to stop appearing. What? That alert. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, how like, the fuck is that a notification? Oh, that she, she even asked sense. that. Yeah. No, that's that's lampshading. She's like, oh, why is there even an alert? Because yeah. that's what the audience is asking. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make it any less stupid. I'm not proud of this. See? So I guess a lot of guys are just horny for green or different remember, colored women. Remember, she was just objectified some men there. Oh, that's not how notifications work, but okay. Her wallpaper is itchy objectified Captain America. Yeah, but... Maybe it's funny. the hair. <laughs> the hair? Men don't like the short hair. <laughs> Your battle with Titania in court, it was incredible. Uh, people love using that word around me. Oh, because... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, people call him the Incredible Hulk? No, that's like, just a meta thing. He's never been called the Incredible Hulk in the MCU. Okay. The Hung Hulk, maybe. Yeah, that's that's how Natasha used to call him. What a specimen. Did you just call me a specimen? As a compliment. Is there anything worse than dating in your 30s? Watching She-Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I I've been on so many first dates and I hate talking about myself. Is this the guy who she takes home and like carries him around? Yeah, we're 20 minutes left. Tell me about you. Also, should we split some fries? 
Yeah, let's get those to go. Wait, so she's just like, he's like, oh, I want to hear a bit more about you. And she's like, well, let's fuck then. You did this same trick at a show last week and my friend Kayla ended up stranded in a parking garage in Pomona. Well, then just say find Kayla. How about we try something a little different? Um... I guess that's all right. So, <laughs> wait, it laid an egg. What? Yep. Not just any egg. Oh, Jabs. That... Oh no. There was a setup earlier this episode. What? It's e. T. Oh, there's a fucking goblins. Yes. <laughs> what is? What? What? The... What? What the fuck? What's... What? Donnie Blaze will handle this. What are the fucking implications of being able to create life? With using the sorcerer magic. I, wait, life can, that can spawn like new creatures he, wait, that don't can exist. He, can he even create life? I don't understand how it how it showed up. I thought it was just like coincidence. <laughs> Why didn't you close the fucking portal? Oh seriously. What? If he if he could, She doesn't he know could how just, to. If he could just create random creatures, why did he have to fight a bomb again? Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, just. It's, it's not. I, I one assume, of these fuckers. I assume it's not like creating random creatures, it's like spawning them from their, wherever they came from. Yeah, that's what I assume. Whoa! Funny place, what did you do? A funny story. Not exactly sure. This is what happens when you try to sue. What should I do? Call my lawyer. What? Just take away yeah, his he's brain. gonna get She-Hulk instead of the sorcerers. I'm not joking. <laughs> Over Doctor Strange. Over any of the people at Carmitage. I, I know that he had a violent attack, but there's still some. Why? Why did he spawn like tiny little energy, like knuckles, instead of I don't know, literally anything else? There, yeah, literally all like of the, the powers sword, he like has. Like the sword he yeah. he did in Multiverse of Madness. That'd be more effective. Strange can cut things with telekinesis. He doesn't even need to use a weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I, uh... Are you ready for objectification? But okay. Because it's a man? One second, okay. Oh, Jesus. No, you're not gonna. No. Yo. Tony, please open the wrong portal. I need your help. Wait, why do you need her? What? Why the fuck would you I, need I her? Wong, why? You're the Sorcerer Supreme. Kidding. He can't deal with a few fucking bats. You're the Sorcerer <laughs> Supreme. Oh, he can. <laughs> what? You, you guys are going to see a spell that can deal with all of this that he doesn't do this till the end. Be a hulk. They don't die. It should be easy. Everyone evacuated. Yeah, everyone's left. Who cares? Just close the goddamn portal. I swear to <laughs> God. Oh my God. You can move your porters, you moron. Why you no. no, no, no. You're throwing them inside the goddamn portal. What's no. happening? Run. What? <laughs> oh, the portal is so fucking moron. Wait, what? You what? It gets worse. It gets worse. I'm not joking. It gets worse than this. <laughs> no. Stop! After so many bad dates, I finally meet a guy who speaks and listens. Yeah, fuck you, Wong. <laughs> it's very, very hot. Not that that matters, but it does. Okay, thank you. Okay. Why did you throw that there? You Jeez. know that they can't die. What are you, are you fucking retarded? Why the fuck is she Hulk here? Just make your portals bigger so it's it how easy. Uh, it's See, easier he could have done that the entire time. Oh, you're fucking. Could've I done swear that. to Christ. Does, uh, uh, why didn't you do that? To... The more Wong uses the open a portal to Antarctica, the more you wonder why he didn't do this in Multiverse of Madness with Wanda. Oh. Oh. oh, you see, he's not grossed out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my god, the CGI. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Did you see his legs resetting? Yes. What do you mean resetting? <laughs> As Basically, in... they go... Yeah, like they he were... went back to neutral position? Exactly. Because he's a 3D yeah. model? Yep. <laughs> uh, I know, I'll have to rewind it later. The super-powered influencer has been cleared of all charges... She somehow got cleared of all charges. She attacked the courtroom. What? How? Why? What? Who are you? Uh, Jen. Just not in Hulk form. Just Jen. 
<laughs> uh oh, he doesn't like her without makeup. Yep. I made breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Sorry, right, for real. Are there consequences to turning into She-Hulk? Or, like, does she have to have a certain amount of energy or something? I don't think so. Or can she just do it on a dime? I think she can just do it when she wants and it's not. Yeah. Titania? She's suing you for misuse of a trademark. She's suing me over the name She-Hulk? She's being sued for using the name She-Hulk. This, this is a no, plot, this is an actual plot point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now. We watched this episode. Did it tie to anything at all? Was there no. any point to this episode? Thank no. you. No. No, the only point of the in terms of like larger thing is that final scene. Because it actually ties into her. They don't even just want like breaking law. I don't yeah. The, no, that it was for the funny in the last episode. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody remembers crimes if they're over twenty four hours old. I think you can understand why I say this is the worst MCU thing, because it's just nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's painful. It is. I guess I can get behind that. There's not. I can't this think is, of a redeeming uh, thing. Even the acting you, was like pretty bad. These fuckers don't realize that the more heroes and characters they introduce, just the more we're gonna be questioning why are they not showing up in the next fucking product that they make. Yeah. Just premise-wise, this literally cannot work. So it requires Wong to use the U.S. legal system when he's never used the U.S. legal system. To a mystical threat. Yeah, the last episode literally was him being like, yo, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm not gonna use the legal system. I'm gonna use the mystic cards. And as Sorcerer Supreme, I insist that he not be punished for my actions or we'll send him to the mirror dimension. And oh my Jen God. had to <sighs> convince him. What you can do to help is show up at the hearing and explain everything. Very well. We'll reserve sorcery for strategy B. The whole point of the uh, mystic arts and the Sorcerer Supreme is to absolve itself from traditional systems because they can't cope mm -hmm. the threats. Anyway, post credit scene. And I can't remember what this was. Longers, have you ever had uh, tequila sunrise? Uh, oh no, so I remember that. Things... <sighs> Soprano. I, I still don't know who this Madison chick is or why she's in this show. She, this girl was, she was part in of Donnie Blaze's performance and... So now she's just Wong's friend. Yeah, because she yes. happened to spawn in Wong's place by accident now she's allowed in that's, how, that's how it works she's allowed in the sacred building magic wong must be down horrendous then Where? so he so he's super pissed that some random nobody is out there with a sling ring mm -hmm. who can like wait so he was at karmataj for did he say three weeks or one week one week i think that's still like nothing that's nothing of training i think in doctor strange one we kind of all assumed that it's been like a couple of months, maybe, that he's been there training. Because he... Did they show like... I think they showed some kind of like progression of time a little bit. Yeah, they showed quite a bit of time passing, especially with uh, showing his hair. I think it's that he's there for like maybe a year-ish. Yeah, that's around the time, I think. as well, Because uh, I, I, they show like, oh, his hair grew, that he, he started like uh, cutting his hair and whatnot. As he became more accepting of yeah. the ways of Mystic Art. And uh, we do see yeah. quite a bit of time passing because there is a montage of him training and he has to study a lot of books and shit. So. I want to yeah. try and describe Wong to the audience in this just so they could process how dumb this all is. All right. How this is the premise of the episode. Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme, who's dealt with Dormammu, Thanos, many mystical threats we never know about, knows about this guy misusing magic and states that this guy could literally tear down the actual planets of dimension. Yeah. Um, knows about this guy he knows everything there is he knows he has a sling wong doesn't choose to act until this random woman comes in and, and ruins the surprise <laughs> i can't believe i'm saying that sentence but we move then wong his plan of action is to go to a lawyer the lawyer who's hunting him down to get him arrested because he broke the law because he felt he needed to face abomination trial and he's choosing to sue the person to stop them using magic because this is an unprecedented example that somehow the mystic, the magic users be like, oh no, we'll have a cease and desist. We will stop now. And he then goes to court and he brings in a drunk witness and then he doesn't do anything since, even though he offers solutions. And then he tries to deal with all the goblins by allowing more goblins to come in and then doesn't do a spell to the very end they could get rid of him. And they're in some random place. And then he lets her, in the end, 
watch The Sopranos in him in the sacred building. This is Wong in this episode. I love the MCU. Donnie Blaze is like some nobody who's only been there for three weeks. I I doubt he like studied as hard as Strange did or did anything because didn't Wong say he got kicked out for like teleporting a a keg of beer to yeah. hit a fraternity party or something. He, he was definitely a slacker. And Wong is pissed. Or, or Well, this guy, first of all, somehow can knows how to, like, use magic. Well, all um, he uses even though, like is I said, a I, portal. And to be fair, portal is, like, the most basic thing before... Uh, well, I, I mean, outside of that. Outside of that. Well, outside um, of that, he doesn't use like actual can, magic. All he does is, like, illusions. The only time he uses magic well, he, is with the ring. He made a bird pop out of nowhere. Well, he, he created no. He, he was he created a portal in in his hand to make the bird show up, and the bird laid oh, an I egg. I thought it was just a bunch of sparks, and then he no no he was he doing it to light. create a portal inside his hand. Okay, well then that's the next point. Well, uh, Carmitage never took his fucking sling ring away, or maybe he just stole it. I guess he was leaving. He just swiped one, and they never checked. <laughs> Yeah, and Wong is pissed at this guy who can barely fucking do anything with magic, but he wasn't mad at Strange enough to stop him from doing a spell that will literally tear the fabric of reality. Well, but, the, fun, um, the funny I, thing is that the last episode, in episode 3, also in, uh, implies that Wong himself has used that spell, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, what was that, what was that line? Because I don't... Oh, I know what you're thinking, Miss Walters. Not erasing everyone's memories, not again. Oh, he, he said not not again that he, he won't do it again. Indeed. Wait, so he's he's referring to an event that happened off screen. Uh, yes. Unless he means not again, as in what Doctor Strange did, but then it wouldn't make sense because she wouldn't know that Doctor Strange did it. Yeah, because the only references in No Way Home were the actual spell that took place and when Strange used it to make. Wong forget about a party, so Wong didn't use it, meaning yeah. that he he used it. So sometime. yeah, meaning that he used it between No Way Home and She Hulk. That's the implication. <laughs> does <laughs> does that line imply that? Could well, yeah, because no, because in uh in No Way Home he says we we can't use the spell because it's too dangerous and uh, mm -hmm. it borders the line between known and unknown reality. So just don't fucking do it. And then Strange says, no, we've used it before to erase your memory of a party we threw in Camartage. And so it's like, I'll just leave me out of it. And so if he says not again, it implies he, he did it himself, but after No Way Home, because it doesn't make sense for him to have used it before No Way Home. Mm, no, well, Strange says we've we've used it for a lot less. That ropes yeah, Wong but into then that. He, but then he, the example well, he uses is of a party, that. is of a party where Strange erased his memory, uh, erased yeah. Wong's memory. So Wong wouldn't, he wouldn't remember having used it if he was the one who did it. And I imagine when Strange says we, he just means like the sorcerers, like people who live in Kamartage and say in the Sanctum. Mm, just, I don't... Hmm. I, th just, I think it could have been before the way it's phrased. I think it would be very... Well, it's out of character anyway, but I think it's just like a contradiction of No Way Home to say it's that... It's possible that, the, that, that one time that Wong used it, like made him realize well well i guess the the ancient one should have warned him about that like he would have known that but he used it and maybe that was the catalyst for him warning strange in no way home yeah but he the only uh, example we get is of wong's memory being erased by the spell so he wouldn't and remember that so he, he wouldn't know that it, anything uh, well the spell the thing. spell didn't erase his memory of him having used it, it erased no, his memory of the party. Yeah, but but then he would have remembered that he did a spell, but he wouldn't remember the party. He would just have the memory but, that but a Strange spell was, happened. But Strange did tell him, we've used to, it for a lot less. Yeah, but that's what I'm to, saying. To in, we is like Doctor Strange and the other sorcerers, not we as to, in him and Wong. That to, that would include Wong, or that could to, include to, Wong. That, co that could, but I don't here. think it would because it erased his memory. Shut up, Jeb. I'm on the way this in here between because your mom and I. <laughs> I, I will, I'm going to back this guy and I'm going to explain why. Okay, go, Jeb. So in No Way Home, the scene basically goes, Wong is very against the spell and has no awareness that the spell has ever been used. That spell travels the dark borders between known and unknown reality. It's too dangerous. We've used it for a lot less. Do you remember the full moon party at Camertage? No. Oh, exactly. If Wong had used the spell prior that incident or on that incident, he would never have allowed Strange to do it for Peter. That's true. So therefore, we have to assume that Wong is referred to when Strange did it, which just makes the line very wonky. 
Mm, but, yeah, I guess it could. It does sound like that he was told about what it could do, not that yeah. he experienced it himself. I, yeah, I can see that. This feels so, like very, very. Post uh, no way home. <laughs> we agree. Wong fucking used it. That's that's fantastic stuff, lads. <laughs> yep. This feels like a very um. You know when Ages of Shield had Sif, for example, and then yeah. Lorelai. Yeah. It feels like it's trying to do that with Wong and Donnie Blaze. I can kind of see and, it, yeah, but th- the thing is, but if we fails. use the <laughs> we use Lorelai to make a point about the the team and especially Ward in that episode. Exactly. And we have to see if as we explore her character, she's been previously in um both Thor films, we explore a bit more of her character in relation to May as well. Like, it's not just, oh, we have these characters because it's fun. It's like, we have these characters and we're going to use them to explore our main cast with them. Exactly. What does is, what is this plotline explore? It, explores, it just reveals that Wong is a fucking moron. It, it shows us that Jen is someone that Wong knows exist. And yeah. That's what it did. How are people saying that that, that She Hulk is what Angel of Shield should have been when, like, at most She Hulk is just like bringing in other what? characters and making them idiots for for no reason? Yeah. At least Angel of Shield actually offered like a different side to the universe. This just shows everyone everyone's a tw- everyone's a twat. Angel of Shield dealt with magic stuff in sincerity. People people say She Hulk good, and I'm just like, why? You're a hater. Well, I heard they were saying. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I just said Jeb's a hater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was hearing that it was good from, like, the first two episodes. I don't I don't know about three and four now. I don't know one that I know has been talking about it on Twitter. I don't see how four can be defended. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, either. it's indefensible. The only way I could see it is if you have one of those types that, like, just seeing um, the norms being called out. So, like, white man being called out without any thought as to why this is bad writing. They're just like, oh, white man being called out, therefore I like that. No, yeah, it's just like, oh, there's a white man, let us show that he's a bad person. Not even a white man, just men in general. Like, when the, that dude wakes up and is like, oh, shit, wait, you're not in your She-Hulk form? I'm, I'm just gotta go. Wait, is is that one as claims as rape? Because, like... Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's... Oh, fuck's sake. What? That's not rape. I said, uh... I he said claimed that, like, a man raped was raped, raped, and that was it, apparently. Well, that's not rape. What? Yeah, How's that rape? It was that right? consensual, though. It was consensual, but borderline. It, but, like, and mostly he that she was Jen, but like, you would assume someone Wait. being a She-Hulk fan, he would know that she has an alter ego. She isn't just a green... Like, he... What? Everyone knows Hulk is Bruce Banner. At least they should. Well, they yeah, and it, 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 Jen has, like, been on interviews and shit. Like, she, people would know Jen, who she is. Jen has literally transformed. On video, and that's what got her famous. Yeah, I'm confused. I guess this guy didn't didn't pay attention to the news. Did he say he was a? Because f- if he's a fan, yeah, I don't think. Well, he I said mean, he is a fan because he he, but he did swipe right. Yeah, he just when, wanted on to the fuck that, that, profile. that green big lady. I guess he never like considered that she she might have like human alter ego. I guess he thought he she thought may she was be an like yeah. I was gonna say like an Asgardian or some shit because like there are a lot of pe- people living in New Asgard, which is on Earth. So maybe he thought she was an alien, uh, and he just didn't know at mm. all about She Hulk for some reason, even though she's been reported on like many times by now. Wouldn't she be on local news? And he and he lives well, in that she, vicinity, obviously. Oh yeah, and she was um she had that interview in the last episode, remember? When, uh, so it's I'm, I'm confused. Right in the middle of the lobby, in front of everyone, I had to transform. It was so embarrassing. Wow, I I can totally see how your boss bringing that on you on the first day would make you spiral. It's funny this show as well has completely forgot about Bruce. So Bruce in episode two was going back oh, to the yeah. car. Oh yeah. So the ship that caused the car crash was um, a Sakaar ship. And that's led him to go back to Sakaar, but they've completely forgot about that for now. So either well, he's show. going to return and it's all going to be dealt with off screen, or it's going to tie in with the future film, like Thor Ragnarok dealt with him. Apparently, or they're going to been... do like a really bloated finale, as they always do. It's, it's either that, or apparently, they'll lead into a World War Hulk, maybe, but I doubt they'll ever do anything good with Hulk, to be honest. I saw like a headline where they were like, oh, they're totally teasing World or Planet Hulk. I'm like, sure, but I don't know. We're two episodes away. We've still got Titania. We've still got the Wrecking Crew. 
We've got whoever the boss is. We've got Daredevil. Oh yeah, there's villains in this. I forgot. We've got Abomination still. Um, and we've got Hulk to Sakaar. And we've only got two episodes. Well, are we going to... Are they going to do anything with Abomination? I thought it was done now that he was out of parole. I, I thought it... Well, was um, Tim Roth teased that there's a bit more to come in terms of whether he's actually reformed. Because, like, sure. apparently he's going to be in Thunderbolts, so yeah, he's oh. he's going to come back at some point. So maybe that instead. I don't know. But it's like, there's so much to deal with, with, I assume, an hour to go. I think it's two episodes. So we have all these, like, loose ends, and they thought we better spend an episode Oh, no, Jeb, it's nine nothing. episodes. Is it? Yeah, it's nine episodes. It just oh, it's nine? Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it was six. Never mind. No, it's nine. My bad. Oh, you got time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my mistake. There's a shot three minutes and 29 seconds in to the episode we just watched to establish that they're in Nepal to look at Wong. You know, it's a, it's a shot of the city. I want to see now if they just recycled a, this footage from Doctor Strange. I'm pretty certain it was. It had a similar color grading and stuff. And like, I'm pretty certain that's... I recognize that shot. Well, I think I think we're good to end off this recording. Don't think we have too much more to say about this wonderful episode. Yeah, other than that, it's good. Yeah, hopefully we don't ever have to watch She Hulk again. Lord, <laughs> I just, please never again. Yeah, I want to keep I my did. MCU boycott as a natural boycott, please. I've got to keep watching. Uh, hey, you have oh. to, right, Jeb? You're contractually obliged. Mm. <laughs> mm, People, ask me. People ask me. I have to. Provide. Of course. I watched Loki. I could do this. You watched Loki twice, right? Because you had to take your notes as well. Yeah. Oh jeez. That video and then you... which will take another year to me. And then you ended up falling asleep during the stream. So good on you, Jeb. I at least used the notes. You... So. Well done. Yeah, you had everything you did. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's all we have for today, folks. Come back next week for She Hulk episode. No, we're not gonna watch She Hulk next week. Come back next <laughs> week for uh, Ecom Live. We're gonna talk about. Uh, why Badvocate is a bad YouTuber and why he should be cancelled. Uh, behind the scenes, he All said right. some really awful shit, so yeah. Stay tuned for that next week. Looking forward to that. Yeah. I don't want to hear a single person tell me like, oh, these characters can't show up because it's not their show, it's not their movie. Wong is literally in this episode for absolutely no reason. And it's not his fucking show. <laughs> yeah, and it's not his show. And Wong yet they has, shoved him in here. Yeah. Wong has no reason to be in this show. You don't even need to do the Shang-Chi connection. You didn't need to do it. Yeah, just fucking... just You could have just ignored that, and it would have been better than what they gave us. All right. Well, we'll see you later, folks. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Wonger! Uh, right.